So, ladies and gentlemen, we are up to the last episode of season two right now of Adventure Time. I have been insane. Like, I have been, like, blown away by the last two episodes. The introduction of the Lich and everything was such a cool way to introduce a giga threat. Uh, I am decompressing right now, so hopefully this last episode is just going to be some casual drug trip and not actually anything too deep or dark. All right, let's go. How do you find me on Kick? I am on kick.com slash Nuxanor. It is linked in uh, places, and uh, you can just go to Kick and go to kick.com slash Nuxanor. I will be binging Adventure Time Season 3 there, hopefully. So uh, let's, let's see what we got for now. Let's see what this is all about. Heat Signature. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Wasn't that the name of the movie that they were going to show everyone on movie night, but they didn't because it was piracy? Or am I just making that shit up? Dude, I love how useful Jake's power is. It's actually crazy. Man, I still can't believe Marceline is a thousand years old and has never seen Heat Signature. Ah! <laughs> We're ending on a Marceline episode! Let's freaking go, baby! We needed this! We needed some Marceline decompression. She's so good. And I love how it's like, I can't believe she hasn't seen this. It's like when, you, you know, you get married, everything's good, and you say to your wife, like, in Star Wars, and she's like, I've never seen Star Wars. This movie is gonna blow their minds. Yeah! Marceline! I love how she's just like a nice, cute little house. <sighs> Underground in a cavern under some dark subway. F we brought heat signature. Woo -hoo. Woo. Hey, so I want. Dude, I love how some of my favorite episodes of Adventure Time are just, you know, hanging out. It's actually so cool. And I love that season two started with a Marceline episode in her house and it's ending with a Marceline episode in her house. How dope is that? Are you all to meet Finn and Jake? They aren't completely lame. What up? Based. Guys, this is Wendy. Hey. Boo Wendy's not. Hello. What, do you call them? what up? Guys, this is Wendy. Hey. Boo boo. Hello. <laughs> boo boo. I didn't even need to work on that one. Hello. And Georgie. Hey. We used to be in a gang together back in the underworld. Hmm. Yeah, that's. Wait. She used to live in the underworld? Wait. Uh, so is the underworld. Okay, just random lore question that I am un uncertain about is the underworld where death is with all the dead people or is underworld the nidosphere where her father is trapped uh i i like I, i'm just trying to figure out to get the world building of all this stuff pretty sweet hope y'all like getting your minds blown because it's showtime <laughs> oh what is wrong with this <laughs> bro ouch yeah, that made my teeth hurt. Oh yeah, sorry. I don't really ever sit on there. It's true, she just hovers. The couch is just there for aesthetic. It's not actually useful. I just float usually. We kind of all do. Oh, what? Man, no fair. Yeah, well, too bad you're not vampires. True, life's not fair. Learn this lesson now, people. You, you, were born in a method. In, in a world where life is not fair, you will not be as rich as some. You will not be as handsome as some. Not be as beautiful as some. You will not be as successful as some. You will not be as smart as some, and you will not be as lucky as some. Ladies and gentlemen, this world is just a corporeal way for us to figure things out. Equality is a dream, not a reality. You must do your very best with what you have and what you have in your possession. Because I hate to be that guy, but nothing is fair. And that is the deep metaphor behind the brick sofa in Marceline's apartment. Yes, thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is what they were going for, totally. So anyways, I- Wait! Hold on just a second. <laughs> Marceline, we insist you turn us into vampires. Or ghosts, or whatever. We just want to fly. Honestly, so based. So freaking based. This stigma against becoming vampires is cringe. Why do you want to go out in the sunlight anyway? I get all the vitamin D I need from Pokimane's overpriced cookies. All right, all right, fine. Yes! Come on, Marceline, you're gonna turn these goofballs? <laughs> Don't worry, I've got something way more fun in mind. Oh! Marceline, uh, if you could please um, kill me, murder me, step on my face, destroy me, crush my head with your thighs. And turn me into a vampire? That would be really cool. Okay. I, I was just paraphrasing what chat's been saying. That's not, that's not what I, I, I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, I'm like, a, like, dude, I'm vibing. My life is good. I'm not cringe at all. Marceline, we're ready now. Okay, 
hold that thought. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm gonna perform the biting ritual. You guys close your eyes and don't open them oh until I say- Oh my god, she's so based. She's so based! So, if you do, your heads will explode! Okay, Finn, you first. Dude, I love how you see the, the gold hair all the time now. It's so cute. <laughs> That was such a good sound. <laughs> boop, boop. Boop, boop. Okie dokie. All done. How do you guys feel? Pretty much the same. Interesting how that happens. Because you see, everything is a lie. You think because you were born in specific circumstances or in some sort of race or in some way you are different than anyone else, but everyone is the same in this world. You should treat each other with the respect that you wish to be treated yourself. That is the metaphor behind the ketchup prank. <laughs> I just want to say enough shit until no one takes me seriously. That's my dream. My neck sort of hurts. Don't you feel a little hungry for blood? I, I felt it. Jake, do you- Dude, I love the placebo effect talking into this stuff. Feel it? Yeah, I could go for some blood. <gasps> oh no. Jake, we're gonna have to drink blood now for all eternity. <gasps> yeah. What if we turn evil? I'll have to start wearing cologne. No! Relax, guys. You can satisfy your bloodlust without killing. Look. Right? Right? They could just drink red. For some reason in this lore, you could just drink red. You just eat the color. Here, Jake. You try. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, bro. Oh, snap. Dude, is this whole episode just gonna be her pranking them? Dude, I, I desperately needed just a calm vibes episode after the lich travesty that I just witnessed. I am so happy that this is just homies chilling. App. I feel stronger. <laughs> Marceline, can we float now? Mm, not yet. That's a really advanced power. First, you gotta go through vampire orientation. Dude, this, she is such a fucking legend. I love her so much. I literally love her so much. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen at home, this is what they call... <laughs> gaslighting! And... I'm not gonna make that joke because it's just not worth getting canceled over. <laughs> Think you chumps can handle it? Okay. Okay, guys. The first phase of vampire orientation is learning oh. invisibility. <laughs> Yo. Hey. <laughs> you ready for the power of? Invisibility? Wait. What? <laughs> no one told me that becoming a vampire would mean that you could touch a woman. <sighs> it was all worth it all along. With all my heart. Good. Now spin! <laughs> Give it a whirl, Jake. Now chin. Invisible! She's so real. She's so based. Invisible, invisible. Oh. 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 Yep, it worked. <gasps> We're invisible. Oh. You're. In We're gullible. Visible. Hey, then how come we can see each other? Because you guys became vampires at the same time, so you're forever linked. Yes! Yes! Plot contrivance! We love those! Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Marceline! You're friends with some real morons. Damn. Damn. It, honestly, wow. That's powerful shit. I, I feel like this, this happens a lot in real life when it comes to relationships where you want to just show off some of your friends to some of your other friends and... You know, you, you pull a prank on one because that's the type of thing that friends do. But that's, again, the first impression the other friends are getting of these friends. And those other friends have no allegiance to these new friends. Like, it's actually insane how this, this operates as the worst possible way to introduce these people. And you have destroyed their first impression. 
A first impression can never be gotten back, and you have destroyed them in the eyes of these people. That's insane. It's not about mixing different-minded friend groups. It's about all the context between you and your friends. All of the history that you shared, that's gone. That's gone in that heartbeat to anybody else. No one knows your history. If I'm gonna make fun of my friend, oh, oh, you fat ass, like as a joke because we're friends and we've been friends for a long time, that's funny. But suddenly someone else will see that and be like, and that's not okay for someone else who doesn't know them, you know? Like it's, this is a really good episode, just like on a very social level. Oh my God, Melissa. Ever since Cl Dude, what? <laughs> I love her. she's still just homeless. LSP is just still homeless. She she's left the freaking what's it called? The lumpy world. Sarah stopped eating meat. Her skin looks so good. I mean, she still looks fat, but like I can't say that junk to her face. <laughs> <laughs> she's so based. Wow, LSP's a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he sound so excited about that? <laughs> Why would you say that? Let's mess with her. I'm doing so awesome on my own. Like, right now, I found this can of beans. Ben? Jake? Ooh. Put down my stuff! <gasps> she knows it's us. She must recognize our voices. Let's disguise them. Real invisible! Ooh. Melissa, I have to go! <laughs> I have to go! Some rich guy that has a home is making fun of me because I don't have one. They got into my toilet paper! Melissa, I have to go! No. <laughs> Give it back, you guys! Whee! Yeah! Oh, yeah, Jake! No! Not the beans! My beans! <laughs> oh, this is so sad, bro. It's so sad. What's up, YouTube? Today we're testing out this new invisibility potion, and we're going to be pranking hobos. All right, 10,000 likes for us to prank more hobos next time. Time to join in on the fun. You guys ruined everything. I'm going to kill you. But we're undead. <laughs> Geez, we really scared her. <gasps> nice vampire scare, guys. Thanks. Oh my god, that's so wrong. That's so evil. Oh my god. Prank! Just committed an accidental crime. Next, will you be celebrating 300,000 followers on Twitch? Yeah, I will be celebrating 300,000 followers on Twitch by moving over to kick.com slash Nuxenor. Yeah. Pretty good, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys ready for the next vampire lesson? See, but like when homies prank homies, that's all fun and games. But suddenly when it becomes, when it looks like it's free real estate for everyone to prank them, that's just wrong, bro. That's abusive. You know we are. Good. Ow. Oh. What's the point of this lesson? Kick them harder. Oh. Ouch. Ow. <laughs> they each summon one foot. This is... Oh, my body! It hurts! Oh. Okay, everyone, stop the toughness lesson! What? Finn, Jake, you guys okay? <coughs> We're okay. It's all worth it. See? They're fine. When did you go all soft? You used to like teaching people about kicks. Hey, guys. I think you're ready to learn how to float. Oh, my God, dude. It's... Oh. I feel like I feel like this relation this this happens so much. I think this honestly is a great episode for kids. Kids need to see this episode. Like there are so many like powerful lessons you could learn. It's not just like the dumb fun that you see on kids television and kids cartoons today. But these are actual powerful lessons and powerful real life scenarios that you could see existing. And I feel like more often than not in modern shows it's just our friends are together, and now we will succeed! But it doesn't actually show you about the pitfalls of friendships, and how friends can actually fuck up. Toxic friendships and toxic relationships are just as important, in my opinion, to cover as healthy ones. I'm so impressed by Adventure Time, and I can't be happy enough that I started it. All you have to do is jump off that ledge. Cool! <gasps> Wait! There's more beginner lessons you need to learn before floating! Like, uh, the spooky vampire walk. See? Spooky. Woo. <laughs> no, 
way. We want to fly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dude, these are just like average school bullies. Like taking advantage of some, uh, some kid that's just too gullible. And they got into that position because they saw one of the cool kids prank them. Even though that relationship was undefined to them. God damn it, bro. <sighs> right now Marceline chill out it's going to be okay we've got a plan now get in your flying positions Vampires oh my god what are you guys waiting for you said you had a plan we do we're gonna make them dead instead of undead <laughs> it's to let them die well, who could, who could have seen that coming? <laughs> ah, based Marceline, give them the freaking legend, the ultimate prank. Just kill them. Awesome. Today, guys, with 2,000 likes, we decided we are going to be killing a hobo, and no one cares about them enough to report us to the cops. 10,000 likes for us to kill multiple hobos in the next video. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing, everybody. We did it! Yeah! yeah! Way to go, Marceline. Hey, you guys need to stop trying to kill my friends. They gotta die someday. True! True! <laughs> Why you gotta stress out, bro? What are you stressing for later? You can just do it now, bro! They're so based. Hey, let's invite them to our place when they show up. We'll suck their guts out through their brains. Did you see us? Yeah, you guys were pretty amazing. Hey, we're gonna throw a party in honor of your new vampire skills. Uh -oh. Holy snaps, that's awesome! They're lying to you guys. They just want to suck the guts out of the top of your head. What? <laughs> She's just jealous of you. Uh -oh. We'll see you at midnight at our place. <laughs> Guys, promise me you're not going to that party. Tell them the truth, bro. And here's the thing. She doesn't want to be the liar either. She knows that if she tells them, that means she lied to, about all of this. Because all this is ultimately her fault, too. And it's not. no one wants to take accountability. Everyone wants to be able to sweep shit under the rug. Dude, this is such a great video. Like, liter literally from every perspective, you have you have the bully assholes. She already told them. She told them sort of. She didn't tell them that I made it all up. We're not gonna go. You're not? Nah. I'm kind of tired from doing vampire stuff all day. We're just gonna chill. Oh, okay. Well, we're going back home. Peace. Okay. Number 25, Blood Drive. No, no! Hey guys, we're here! Wow, look at you guys! That's awesome! Bro, dude, they are in so much danger! And here's the thing, if someone- Marceline is someone that lies to them all the time too, so they will casually lie back. Dude, what, a, what an honestly great episode. It's like an honestly great episode. I, I, I don't even have like memes and jokes, I'm just impressed. <laughs> Georgie, what's wrong? Uh, Jake, what's happening? I think they're testing our vampire abilities. Oh, sweet. Vampire kick! Oh, come on. Will you knock it off already? You know you're not even real vampires. Uh-oh. Then why am I flying, Wendy? Oh. <laughs> oh, hoo, hoo. he was so confident. He was so confident. I think Marceline tricked us. Yeah. Vampire kick! Yeah! Call out your attack moves. You got this. Yeah, you you take those large, pulsating, girthy, veiny, spectral tentacles out of there. I hate girthy spectral tentacles. Finn, Jake, I'm so sorry I got you into this. I should have never pranked you so perfectly. <laughs> I, sh I should have never done such a fantastically good job pranking you. It's totally my fault for just being so epic and based. God, I, I, I'm so sorry for, for doing such a fantastic job if I do say so myself. It's okay. You're here now to beat up those ghosts, and 
and save us. Oh no, vampires can't be ghosts. It's like a rock, paper, scissors thing. No! <laughs> no! Ah! Also, just shout out to, to her dad who also called out his attack new moves, you know, vampire kick. I just came to apologize. Okay, she's lying, right? <laughs> she, she's lying. She's just lying. I just came to apologize for lying to you and causing you to lose your guts. Um, bye. Oh man. Can't believe we're gonna die just because we wanted to be comfortable watching Heat Signature. This is all part of the prank. Heat Signature. Uh, did you guys say Heat Signature? Yeah, all right, all right. We saw that happening. Have you located the enemy's heat signature, Private? Yes, sir. But I also noticed something strange. Something I, I can't explain. Well, spit it out, man. I These are the, the humans in this show are all just part of the freaking... Part of the television, because Finn's the last one, allegedly. I, I can't seem to locate our heat signature. Oh... <gasps> Just think of <laughs> no, they're just complaining about the couch. They're just casually sitting next to the guys that were trying to kill them, watching a movie together, bro. Shit movies, bro. They 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 just bring everyone together. Snake a bam bam to the J stop. Can we just go back to the brain eating or whatever. Mm hmm. After the movie. Well, can't we just Shh, shut? Look out, Commander! Bro, they just say the same things. Oh my god, are you Lord of the Rings? The Tale of Two Towers? That's crazy, bro. But that was a good episode. Uh, we finished season two, ladies and gentlemen. And um, I do have to say, what a ride it has been. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.